Hi everybody and welcome to another Crack a Box here on LRRMTG. I'm Graham. And I'm Kathleen. And today we are here to open this box of Strixhaven School of Mages. Now, two things different this time. One, we're not doing this as a giveaway. A main part of why we're opening this box is we need these cards to film the stuff that by now you will have seen at the pre-pre-release. Oh no, I am unstuck in time. And second, we're not cracking normal boosters. Today we are cracking set boosters, which according to the helpful blurb on the back of the box that Wizards has provided, if you're not looking to draft, set boosters are an exciting way to add to your collection. Each booster contains at least one rare or mythic, which is helpful for us getting examples for the judge video for sure, a guaranteed foil, and an art card. And you might also pull an exciting card from Magic History. What could go wrong? I mean, a variety of computer-related problems, but with the pack cracking, nothing. Fingers crossed. It's funny with Strixhaven in particular, the part they're saying, or a card from Magic's history. What they mean there is a card from the list, which is the like, th I mean, it's the list. It's like, there's just, you could randomly get a card from the list, which is a list of cards that they've decided to randomly throw reprints of. But there's also, the Mystical Archive cards, I think. I actually don't know if you get Mystical Archive cards in set boosters, but I'm about to find out. Oh, there's only one way. All right, so Graham, yeah. please do the honors. While you're doing that, I will point out that it's very nice that we both wore our band t-shirts today. Oh yes, right, my Kaldheim t-shirt here for Strixhaven. Yeah. Your band is a real band though. Oh, yeah, they're both about equally metal band t-shirts though, so. Wow, this plastic is denser than normal. Oh, that's the value speaking. Ah, oh, there we go. And the value says, don't unvalue me. All right, get out of here with that. And we got some cardboard. And I'll make the thing stand up all nice. This is the Kathleen Chaos School of Unpacking. Oh! Ta-da! Oh! The cover, I think, the front is all the same, and it is this image of wizards doing a wizard thing. Oh, they're having a wizard fight. Yeah. I mean, isn't that what magic is? Like, this big wizard fight? <laughs> I mean, yes. So here, you can have that one and oh. all of these, and oh. I will take all of these, and then th in this pile, we will divide it in half. There. All right, I got some comments last time on my chaotic opening skills. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Well, of course you are. You can talk about how annoyed that makes you in the comments. Please engage with our content. <laughs> I appreciate that last time we did not discuss doing engagement or calls to actions at all, and you were just all in on it, and uh, <gasps> I appreciate it. Well, here's our first art card. That looks cool as heck. Well, what is that? I don't know, because it's considerably before Strixhaven has come out. <laughs> it's Selfless Glyph Weaver by Johannes Voss. Oh. Neat. I do like his art. So what are we, what are we showing off here? Do we have Mystical Archive cards to show off in these? Let's uh, find out. Yes, we do. We do? Yes. Okay, great. Well, then let's show off the the rares and the foils and the Mystical Archives. And, and the sign in blood? Oh, wow. You know how when they did the Amonkhet invocations and they spoiled those with like the hieroglyphic style and people were like, I don't like how that looks. And then we saw them in paper and... It was like, oh, actually, okay, I can see it now. It was very different holding it in person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These, we've seen them digitally, and it's like, wow, these slap. These are awesome. Seeing it in person. They still slap. It still looks way better <laughs> than it did on the computer screen. This looks terrific. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dang. Hey, you know, I know people are feeling quite strongly about what college they want to go to at Strixhaven. I feel like I'm already dressed to fit in. And of course, Witherbloom, we've got Belladross. He's here to say, I'm a dragon. <laughs> That's so like him. To hey, be a huge dragon. I'm a dragon. <laughs> What's up? Commander time. Sweet. What's your foil? Uh, I got a foil Quandrix Campus. Nice. Yeah. I got two foils in this one. I got a foil Basic Planes, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I got a foil environmental sciences. Oh, that's the lesson that you fixes. Yeah. And my rare is actually a mythic. I've got crackle with power. <gasps> when you really want to cast 
a spell with triple X in its casting cost. In its mana value, no, and it's still in its casting cost. The mana value is a different thing. And then for my Mystical Archive card, I've got Regrowth. Oh, that also looks just so beautiful. Did you get anything from the list? Uh, no, you f you know if it's from the list because it has a teeny planeswalker symbol on it, and oh. not every pack does. Well, I, you can also tell it's from the list because it's got the original set expansion symbol on oh. it. Oh, <laughs> Spine Thopter. Yeah. What an interesting choice to include in the list. But it does have the little uh, yeah. teeny planeswalker symbol, and but what really gave it away to me was the Phyrexian mana. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that would do it. All right, so we got a pile for foils, a pile for rares, a pile for mystical archives, a pile for art cards, and a pile for list cards. This is some spice. I don't want to jinx it, but uh, the first thing that has leapt out at me after pack one, mm -hmm. these foils are really flat. Like, they're, they're not, these foils are not pringled as the kids would have it. I'm, Is that I'm, what the kids are having these days? I I just when we opened the TSR booster, the traditional foils were bendy, and these are not. And that's I don't know if we have to wait for the magic to happen, but that's a good sign. What do you think of the Pringly thing? Let us know in the comments so we can not read but get those engagement numbers up. Spo spoilers, they're not happy about it, and I don't think that's unreasonable. No. Ooh. Here's an art card. I know who this lady is. She's like the oracle that you have to go and visit when you need the secrets outside of Strixhaven. I don't know what that means. I haven't read that this part. This is Jadzi, Oracle of Arcavios. Cool. Ooh, I've got a lot of spice here. How about Wandering Archaic? Ooh. It's a flip side. Half of it is an avatar creature. Half of it is a sorcery. What an odd thing. I've got a foil combat professor. Yeah, right? Bird cleric. And I've got shock. Oof, every one of these looks amazing. Ooh. I love it. I'm sorry, I've also got a Sedgemore witch. Ooh. That is a good outfit. Yeah, that's a strong look. That, that's the look that says, look, I may be raising pests and untold horrors from the depths of a bog, but I don't have to look bad doing it. No. I can feel fabulous. Yeah, exactly. I've got another foil planes, a different foil planes. Ooh. I've got a foil hall monitor. My rare is the Necroblossom Snarl. Have you seen the Snarls? It's a new no. cycle of lands. They're all very, they're like magical problem zones. Don't go into the Necroblossom Snarl. And I have Mystical Archive Village Rites. Oh. That looks so sick. I love the purple. Yeah, it's very strong. Very colorful. I also got an elemental token, and the elemental just looks really neat. I like it a lot. So I got an art card for Memory Lapse. Whoa, that's for the Mystical Archive version of Memory Lapse. Yeah, I was going to say. Dang. 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 Nice. I got Tempted by the Auric. Ooh. Don't, don't, don't be tempted by Auric. Yeah, Auric's don't, a jerk. Don't touch the Auric. I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know either, but we'll find out. Uh, also, Scurrid Colony. It's a Scurrid. It's a squirrel. Oh, neat. i got to foil that. And I am running hot on these Mystical Archive cards. How about an Electrolyze? Ooh. Dang. Very nice. I have a non-foil planes, which just seems, considering I've run foil planes into foil planes, running into non-foil planes seems like a massive decrease. <laughs> but I, I do have a foil first day of class. Mm. I have a Leonin Light Scribe from the new set. And what if this cat cleric wants a cat friend? Luckily, the list provides with Vanguard of Bremaz. Oh! From... Journey into Gods, Born of the Nyx, one of those ones. It's one of the Theros sets. And from the Mystical Archive, <gasps> Dispark. God, these Mystical Archive cards look sick. Apply Dispark directly to the Planeswalker. That's bad. That was stupid. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be allowed to make jokes. We'll cut that in editing. <laughs> Don't. 
Corey, don't cut that. <laughs> oh, hey, here's a fractal token. Also handy for Ooh. our own uses later, but also looks sick. Dang, so that's what they look like. Yeah. I've just been envisioning Mandelbrot sets. <gasps> Okay, here's another cool art card. This is Ruth, a mercurial artist, who's one of the legendaries from the set. Ooh, it's got the, the foil signature on it. Yeah, signed, so foily stamped with Chris Ron's name. Nice. That's very cool. You know what I realize we haven't done so far? What? We haven't done pack opening ASMR. Oh, no, we haven't. You know, everyone's favorite part of the pack opening ASMR is Graham swearing while he can't get... Okay. <laughs> there. Ignore the part where I said, damn it. We haven't done a smell test either. Oh yeah, what do these smell like? Like the TSR cards. Really? I think these are very different, actually. These have... These are much less strong. That's true. Than the than the TSR cards. They the TSR cards smelled like old magic, and these there's a fresher smell. I mean, what we need to do is a is a nose by nose comparison. Yeah. Do we know anyone with what's the smell version of a super taster? I think it would just be somebody with a very good palate, and I think. Uh, honestly, like without wanting to toot my own horn a little bit, like you'd probably just want me and Ian to come in here. Probably. It's not. It's subtle. It is. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a xylene afterthought. Mm. Mm hmm. Anyhow. Sorry. I, I opened a foily umbral juke. <laughs> I opened Auric lore mage. Ooh. Who's a warlock? And cultivate. Oh, very nice. Oh, these are so spicy. Oh, <gasps> very excited. Oh my goodness, this pack is, this pack is wild. Okay, uh, a rare Blade Historian. Mm -hmm. A rare Selfless Glyph Weaver. Oh. Which could also oh, be- Oh, hey, that's our art. Yeah. It's our first art card. Which could also be Deadly Vanity, because mm. it's a modal double face card. I have from the Mystical Archive Negate. Whoa. It's very, very strong. I love and the colors. Also from the Mystical Archive, but foil this time. <gasps> Divine Gambit. Ooh. And again, at time of recording, just just absolutely flat. No curve there at all. Maybe they've finally cracked the code. Cause it's I wouldn't say it's not humid in here. <laughs> Wow. Well, we need a new pile now. Uh, I guess it's over here. Oh, there's a lot of value to be had here. Ooh. Hey, here's an art card for, in fact, Sign and Blood, which I believe we oh. got. Yeah, you. This is the, the first one you opened. Yeah. So look at that. So we can do a comparison shot here. There we are. That's pretty sick. There's the art card. There's the actual card. Right, because the Mystical Archive cards technically extend further down below the thing. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. And wow. Okay. We've got another Auric Lore Mage. Hmm. We've got a Tangle Trap. A Foily Tangle Trap. Tangle Trap. Wow. That's actually really good. Destroy target artifact or five damage to target creature with flying for two. Oh, yeah. At instant speed. I mean, like, this card, this kind of card is just getting better and better all the time, but I think knocking that down to two is better. And claim the firstborn. Oh. Ooh. Love it. I haven't been showing off my art cards just in the interest of, like, expedience more than anything else, but the strategic planning I have to show you because it is, it's something else. That's incredibly sick. I've got my own Tempted by the Auric. What are these packs trying to tell us? That we should listen to the Auric, I guess? I've got a foil wormhole serpent from the Mystical Archive, a snakeskin veil, and courtesy of the list, Jade Light Ranger, all oh. the way from Ixalan. <gasps> hey, it's art for Mila, crafty companion, who's the backside of Luca, the planeswalker. Oh, I have the art for Revitalize from the Mystical Archive. I like how after they killed his cat friend in Heartless Act, 
which I didn't realize was happening for a while. Now I really feel bad when I play that spell in standard, but I still play it. <laughs> um, but uh, he's found another animal friend. Like his the animal companionship lives on, which makes me happy. What about a flame scroll celebrant? Yeah, right. It could also be revel in silence. Oh, oh, mm. silence. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. We've got a foily biomathematician. And finally, yet another for the this looks amazing. How about duress? How about duress? Woof. Yeah, right. Over in this pack, this is interesting. I've got the land at the very front of the pack like I have every other time. And then the next card is a rare. Oh. Yeah, it's a rare lesson. Uh, confront the past, oh. which is Professor Onyx, a.k.a. Liliana, sort of dealing with Gideon sacrificing himself, which is kind of interesting. But then at the back of the pack, we still have the normal rare, which in this case is Baleful Mastery, a foil charge through, and new Mark Tadine art for Swords to Plowshares. Oh, dang. Yeah. I will say the charge through is a, a little bent, a little bit foil curled, but again, very, very little. Now it's time for Kathleen's ASMR. Uh. <laughs> You know, when I was a kid and I taught myself how to burp on command, I always knew it would pay off. And now that day is finally here. <laughs> this is why you don't want Kathleen to do your ASMR videos. No, because I just make you feel bad and weird about it the whole time. Judgmental the, ASMR. The notion that someone might be enjoying themselves means that you will do everything within your power to make sure that is not the case. Yeah, don't... Look, I don't want anybody to enjoy themselves while looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not perceive Kathleen. Yeah. Ooh, what about a full art of Dina, Soul Steeper? Yeah, all right. It looks very pretty. Foily Swamp. A Prismari Command. Ooh, very nice. A Foily Novice Dissector. Hmm. And a non-foily Divine Gambit. Nice. I've got a Manifestation Sage, which casts for a mere four Quandrix mana. I have a foil spirit summoning from the mystical archive a copy of infuriate she's so mad and this is kind of cool actually from the list liliana's devotee with the special liliana frame Ooh. that you could sometimes get in m21 that's that's pretty cool that is very cool. i like that the list is like quite all over the map mm -hmm. I, I mean i think that's that mean that's what makes it interesting Ooh, what about just island? Thanks, Adam Paquette. Hey, nice. I've got an inkling. <clears throat> I've got an inkling that I might very much enjoy this token <laughs> in limited. Well, I started out by opening Belladross Witherbloom, and now I've got the Witherbloom command. Oh. I've also got a foil thrilling discovery. Thrilling discovery. That was a moderately exciting discovery in my pack. What I a... wouldn't go so far as to call it thrilling. Yeah, that was neat. <laughs> and ah, now Storm is back, baby. Who? What about a mystical archive grape shot, which is extremely spicy? Yes, please. And hey, speaking of the list, what about fodder cannon? What? Wow going way back to Urza's block with fodder cannon. No kidding. All right. So I figured out why I got that rare at the front of my pack last time. In the Strixhaven set boosters, the first card is a land, which can be the campus. But so far I've only gotten, I've mostly gotten basics, but I've gotten one campus. Then the second card is a lesson. It's been a lesson every single time. And they can be rare. So that's what happened there is I got a, a rare, rare lesson. lesson. Uh, in this pack, however, I haven't actually looked. I have... Oh, okay. So first up, I've got a Frost Boil Snarl. Then I have a Foil Secret Rondes Vus. Mm, I ship it. A Mythic Modal Double Face card. I've got Jadzi, Oracle of Arcavios. Oh, we saw her art card earlier. And Journey to the Oracle. And then from the archive, <gasps> Mizix's Mastery. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> There's a card called Golden Ratio. <laughs> Here's an art card for the art for Brainstorm. Oh. Oh. I know. 
is very spicy. Hot take, I like art. Yeah, me too. Hot take, the art on magic cards is great. Wow, I forgot how set boosters were sometimes collated. This has, look at the, look at this. Quandrix common, Quandrix uncommon, Quandrix uncommon, Quandrix uncommon. Just ba bam, all in one set booster. Wow. So here's my rare, Harness Infinity. Oh yeah. Exchange your hand in graveyard, exile Harness Infinity. Yeah. Seems commander playable, I think. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm on board. Uh, I got a foily Barog Befuddler. <laughs> He's a frog wizard. Barog Befuddler. And what about a Mystical Archive Opt? Oh, yeah. These are very spicy. Very good. These are very, very spicy. Mm -hmm. I've got a Foil Relic Sloth, which is a kind of a preposterous looking beast. My rare is the Deamogoth Titan. Oh. Big scaries. And from the archive, we have a Revitalize. Mm. This is by Justin and Alexis Hernandez, and it's great. There's also instructions to play a magic mini game called Strictly Better. I got instructions for a magic mini game called Dominarios. Hmm. I'm gonna definitely play these later. But for now, we must crack packs. For now, we must crack on. I know, we're just so, so, so much sacrifice for you, the viewers. <laughs> Ooh, what about some nice art of Kazmina Enigma Sage? Yeah, right? Wouldn't say no. Looks befuddling. Mm-hmm. I peeked ahead. This this pack is sweet. What you got? A blade historian. Nice. I've got another village rights. Cool, cool. Got a foil devouring tendrils. Hmm. But from the archive, a very important part of the magic story. It's Niv Mizzet Reborn. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, Dad. Dragon <laughs> Dad. You're so colorful now. <laughs> okay, check out this pack. I've got Prismari Command. Perfect. It's cool. We've seen that already. That's nice. From the archives, I've got another negate. Very good stuff. From the list, we have wastes. Oh. Which is just kind of cool. I like that wastes is there. And a foil archive opt. Mm. So spicy. Look at it go. Ooh. What about. Rise of Extus by Wiley Beckett. That looks very sick. Yeah. I have Ingenious Mastery. Mm. I've got a foil beaming defiance. Oh. -ho. And I know some people aren't aren't down with it, but I think it looks great. It's the mystical archive of Faithless Looting. Mmm. Like it looks good in a card, right? It looks like it looks like a Klimt painting. Right, because it's got the, like the 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 very flat perspective, and it's got like the real person, and it's got the very colorful background. Shout out to my friend Michelle, who who uh, who was the first person to point out the similarity between like the sort of the technique of the faithless looting and and Klimt. Mm, mm -hmm. It definitely looks better on the card than it does seeing digitally. Although it looks best when you see it full art, which. Because the tech, the rules box is not remotely transparent, so you actually lose a lot of it. Like this art, to me, plays way better full scale, and I think it gets done dirty by the card frame. Also, because of how much red there is in the card frame, it makes the red in the art pop less than it does when you see the the art on its own. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, I dig it. I dig it. I've got Archmage Emeritus. I've got some Deans, Deans, Ooh. Deans, Kian, Dean of Substance, and Imbraham, Dean of Theory. Got a foil, got a foil solve the equation, and another opt. We've almost got a play set of ops here. Think of the, the options. There's worse, there's worse things to have. Shade Wing Laureate. Whoa. Ugh, oh, goals, right? I think, like, I want to be... I want to be um, in Silver Quill, but I think I'm like not fancy enough, mm. right? Like I'm, I just don't care about how I look as much as they do. I think. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hey, we got three out of the five snarls now. Here's the hey. Shine Shadow Snarl. Nice. I've got a Thrill of Possibility Mystical Archive. That could be anything. And 
a foil shock. Oh, very nice. Very nice. These are very shiny. I've got another frost foil snarl. So, so far our snarls are stacking up a bit. I've got a foil lorehold campus. Oh, nice. And an agonizing remorse. Oh. From the list. Oh, no, it doesn't look from, happy. From the archive. It doesn't look happy. No, no. This remorse is just agonizing. That's me every time I eat too many Cheetos. That's me when I think about anything I did in high school. Oh, God. I've only got three packs left. Me too. Oh. Sad. I'm enjoying this. Oh, hey, here's some here's some uh, magic minigame. Oh, this is Dominarios. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm? All right. We've been talking a lot about the Auric, but have we opened Extus, Auric Overlord? Here's the dude. Oh, the Overlord of the Auric. Who are the Auric? I don't know, but he says, join me for the dawn of a new age, and the dawn of the new age is awakening the blood avatar. I think that he is... A bad man. I don't think that you should trust him. What if I don't want to join the Dawn of the Blood Avatar? Yeah, no what kidding. What if I just I'm trying to go to class? What about the what about what about sleeping in and then having a coffee and a muffin? Like, I want to get a full ride school. scholarship for being good at playing Mage Tower. That's a lie. I would be crap at playing Mage Tower. Are you kidding me? Mm. I want to work at the newspaper. <laughs> Oh, uh, what do you think the school newspaper is like? I don't know. I hope they, I mean, obviously Silverquill run it, but like, I yeah. hope they talk a bit about the school newspaper. We both worked for our university newspaper. That's how we met. That's we how met. we met. At a nerds. newspaper conference. Student newspaper conference. <laughs> ah. That, you know, that didn't bring up any agonizing remorse. When no, I it didn't about actually. That. Oh, no. finally. Something I can think about. <laughs> My student newspaper was called The Martlet, which is a bird uh, used in heraldry. Kathleen, what was your student newspaper called? Okay, so my student newspaper was called Over the Edge <laughs> because they had a naming contest for that, and there's only a few entries, and that was the best entry. Wow. And the winner of that uh, newspaper wrote, won a zucchini. You were definitely at the fun newspaper. Well, fun and or ridiculous. And like it hadn't been around for very long. It did not have an August history like your newspaper mm, did. Mm. We It was only started like a few years before I got there. So there was still a lot of like figuring out how to run a student newspaper organization and pass that along to people and stuff right. like that. Uh, but we did find out things that we could do, which was um, do a disgusting parody of Tim Horton's competitions. <laughs> It was it was something like roll up the rim to win, but we added an extra word to rim. And then we hid a very, uh, I will say, artistic photo somewhere in the paper. A three-letter word meaning occupation. <laughs> you had to find it in the newspaper. <laughs> but it was very artistically drawn. So unless you really had a dirty mind, you wouldn't know what you were looking for. It looked like a star, really. Um, uh. Anyhow, we got away with that because it was a different time. What's, in, uh, the, what's but, in your pack? You know what allowed us to do that without uh, without getting into so much trouble? What? We clearly had Teferi's protection. What about that for a segue? Ooh, dabbing. Well, That's you, what the youth do. You certainly had an adventurous impulse. Oh! To include that picture of a pestilent cauldron. <laughs> I don't know if we can use this. Whatever. We're, Wizard isn't paying us to make this video. No, this one's just going up for us. Pestilent Cauldron turns into restorative burst. That's how you feel after you find the picture and you get the prize. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, also in this booster, I have an uh, Ifrit Flame Painter and a Foil Quandrix Apprentice, neither of which I think I can make a particularly scatological joke out of. So I'm just going to move on with my life. Yeah. All right. I'm down to my second last pack. I've got an ecological appreciation. Well, so is, do I. Well, oh, nice. No, but I have one. Oh, okay, cool. I can point to my bona fides, mm. and which is which works really well because I also have cultivate. Hey. From the archive and willow dryad. Well, what? Which I don't recognize that set booster at all. That is from Portal. You can tell because it has the these little like dagger and shield symbols for power and toughness and the ability word is bolded and this is when they used to have a line 
between the rules box and the flavor text only in Portal to be like, we need to make it really, really simple to play this game. Let's separate that. And only years and years and years and years later were they like, we should just have that line all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Looks good. I've got a foil exhilarating elocution. Ooh. A gnarled professor. Tree folk druid. Radical. And a regrowth. Ah. Yeah. All right, last pack. What do you want to open? Uh, I want to open something extra spicy from the Mystical Archive. I want to open that one card that we need for the Judge video script. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we wrote a short that we also haven't opened the card for. Oh, you're right. Uh-oh. Well, that then. We want to open that. <laughs> All right, I got the art for Silver Quill Squad. Nice. I got the art for that professor, the core professor that, that learns. Professor of Symbology. All right, well, this is my last pack, so here's the beginning of my closing statement. <laughs> like, that's just like, that's that's not to do with anything. That's just I wanted to that put that That was a real there. eureka moment. Oh. Uh, I don't think I can make any jokes. Actually, wait. In fact, that, you know, getting these there Ooh. did require a little bit of strategic planning. Very nice. God, that looks so sick. That's really good. I love that art. <laughs> There's a card for Snow Day. Look. <laughs> Snow Day. Uh. Have we gotten the Necro Blossom Snarl yet? Yes, we yes, did. Yes, I think so, yes. All right, Snarls on Snarls on Snarls. But also, a foily Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Ooh. Who's a tree folk? Nice. It'll go in your commander deck. I've got... This pack is ridiculous. So I've got an Academic Probation as my lesson. So that's a rare. I also have Ecological Appreciation. I've got a foil Demogoth Titan. Wow, this pack's stacked. The Mystical Archive is actually our preview card. Hmm. <gasps> The Tainted Pact. Oh. And from the list, a gemstone mine. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's cool. Wow, that's fantastic. I would rate opening an entire box of set boosters fun out of 10. Exactly. Now, fun rhymes with one. That makes it sound bad. Um, uh, fine out of 10. Well, that, see, I want to. It's a Ben out of 10. Just put both Ben's, it's two Ben's out of 10. Put both, put Wheeler and Ben's faces above us. We rate it Ben's out of 10. <laughs> Perfect, love it. Uh, yeah, well, there we are. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, uh, 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 follow did, the channel, comment below. Yeah, what did you think of this? Are we dumb or are we amazing? Write long screeds about whatever you feel about in the comments. We're not gonna read them. But, yeah, really, you know. really get into it down there. Help yeah. the algorithm out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Store.loadingreadyrun.com. That's where our magic merchandise is. Uh, Patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. That's how you can help us continue to do things. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching. We like that you were here. Bye. Bye.